IND Hemp Oil Seeds and Fiber presents The Goodness of Hemp Industrial Hemp Show, where we will pull back the curtain and take you right into the action at the heart of the hemp industry as we follow along with our team and the others in the industry working hard every day to build and develop an all-American supply chain for industrial hemp grain and fiber products. Thanks for finding us here on the Goodness of Hemp Industrial Hemp Show and welcome to episode one. My name is Greg Necco, brand manager at IND Hemp, and I will be your host and guide as we take you along on this great adventure into the heart of the industrial hemp industry in America. IND Hemp is a family-owned, mission-driven company founded by Ken, Julie, and Morgan Elliott. IND Hemp provides innovative agricultural products and services. We connect American farmers with the pioneers and businesses that see hemp as a way to bring real and lasting change to our communities and the planet. That's our mission and we're sticking to it. As we contract and process hemp grain into hemp food ingredients such as hemp hearts, hemp seed oil, hemp protein powders, hemp feed ingredients, and soon we'll be decorticating hemp straw to separate into clean bass fiber and herd materials to support a scalable supply of raw materials for current and emerging markets. Enough about us. We don't want this to be a commercial for IND Hemp. Rather, we are specifically looking to engage and highlight on this show the other processors, producers, manufacturers, brands, and marketers in this industry working to pull together their link of the American hemp supply chain. Okay less talk, time to show more action. We'll have plenty of time to catch up in the weeks and episodes ahead and get into our history and share some of the great stories from the past few years. But for now, since weather drives the schedule in agriculture and it's warm enough to plant, we're gonna hop in the truck and race out across the Golden Triangle and catch up with IND Hemp lead agronomist, Ben Brimlow, and our friends, Rusty, Corey, and Eric from Heartland Industries in Michigan as we assess soil conditions and join farmer Nathan Keene as he drills the first hemp grain acres in Montana for 2021. And uh, 48 degrees Fahrenheit, and we are well above that. We're at 52 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, even down to five inches. So this field is, is ready to go. Morning, this is Ben Brimelow, ID Hemp. We're here uh, in Nathan Keene's field, April 28th, putting in the first field of hemp, possibly in Montana. Uh, we're here with the Heartland team, uh, out visiting from Michigan. In Montana, at least, most of them are no-till operations. Um, you can see this is, it's turned up a little bit, but it's still technically no-till. They're just moving soil in that, that row. Um, and so most of it is consistent. You know, if it fits a wheat farmer, if they can grow canola, they can grow hemp. There's always little adjustments we gotta do. Like, for example, air pressure. Yeah. Every farm I show up on when we're seeding, we, we test the air pressure because dial it down because yeah. they're used to just just hosing it out there and hits the you know you know so a lot of times those hemp seeds are so light and fragile it'll it'll hit the manifold and shatter and crack so I've sat underneath an opener collecting shells and hearts and it's like no oh, this is not what we want we are not looking for a keyhole yep. right <laughs> that's an idea <laughs> yeah this is a this is a, a seed master out of Canada. They're one of the, the best large-scale uh, no-till setups. They're metered seed, a lot like a corn drill, to where every meter leads to one tube to one opener. So we don't have uh, seed distribution issues, consistent seed placement, seed distribution. Uh, but one of the best, best setups on the prairie right here. So say, got your furrow here, uh, what a planter will do is it's metering right two feet above basically the ground. And so as it meters, it just drops into the ground. And so then you'll have it, you'll set your population when you want, and it'll go, and you can then say, I want, you know, I want a hemp seed every four inches. You set your population that way, then it just boom, drops, four inches, boom, drop just exactly four inches that's singulation so most air drills they got these big tanks which we do that tow behind tank is our fertilizer it goes drops through the the bottom of the tank there through wind pressure goes up to the tower 10 towers it hits the towers and distributes in that tower it's 
very random. You don't get singulation like this. So what you'll get is, you know, if you if I was putting seed through that, you might get seed, 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 space, seed, 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 maybe seed, seed. It's just random. Yeah. With that onboard collar change again to the Ultra Pro 2, the difference is, is it doesn't go through a dis distribution tower. It, it meters out and goes directly into a tube right to the ground. And so, so you're able to get that again. Yeah. You get to get that. It's not exactly like a planter, but it's not going to any distribution tower. It's getting metered out and then straight to the ground. It's not to travel ways through hoses to get there. Like where a planter is just dropping, you know, two feet boom is there. But there's no other big air drills like this that, that does that. So that's why we went that way is nice. get better singulation. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. so that this uh, yellow deal here that's a Seedmaster Ultra Pro 2. Um, that is what this, the hemp seed is in. So it's metering out of that. You see all the hoses coming out of it towards the bottom there. So it's metering. You got uh, a fan that blows the seed through those hoses, right down to each individual shank, bypassing any of the towers. There's towers here on this drill. That's for the fertilizer that comes out of the tanks behind this one. And so if you would, tell me what you just did. So we just came around a corner and then you just push the button and let go of everything. Yeah. And right now, your feet aren't on the pedals, your hands aren't on the controls. I'm not so. steering anything. Uh, the GPS, we're running by RTK is the system. It's a sub inch. So I'm only, my variation is right here. So I'm 0 0.2, 0 0.1 of an inch off of my line. So that's how precise it is. Uh, or running your line, north and south is, is what I'm running. So, yeah, so you just come to the end, you call that your headland, you just you have to manually turn, and then I hit this uh, this button, it's actually a trigger on the other side of the throttle to engage my GPS, and take my hand from the steering wheel and I'll steer, and then I have to click this foot pedal, and that drops my shanks down into the ground there and ready to go so so how I have it here is this um, this monitor here is basically just giving me tractor information it's running our GPS running the tractor it's telling me fuels you know gallons per hour what I'm using 20 you know, 20 gallons an hour the slippage is my tracks how much is it slipping you know losing traction percent which is pretty low I'm running an 80 foot drill here so um, a two to three percent slippage is, is pretty minimal um, engine power 86 percent um, my work rate I'm going 40 almost 49 acres per hour so this is telling me a lot of the tractor stuff right here is telling me everything about the drill so it's showing me my it's showing me my rates so I have we have five different tanks here on our on our Seedmaster drill. First tank is our hemp seed, which we're running 19 pounds per acre. The second one is an inoculant. It's not something you actually need to put down with hemp, but it's extra stuff I have that's in chickpeas. And so I'm just getting rid you of it. it. Use it. It's use beneficial it to the soil. It. Might as well use it up. Um, third tank is a phosphate product, 30 pounds per acre. Fourth tank is a urea nitrogen product. 90 pounds per acre and fifth tank is another urea it's the same stuff 90 pounds per acre so i'm putting a total of 180 pounds uh, per acre of this urea hey you're still here Thanks for tuning in to episode one of the Goodness of Hemp Industrial Hemp Show. Hopefully you learned something and had a good time riding along with us today. And if you did, 
please help the show out and give us a like on this episode. Better yet, click subscribe on our channel and you can follow along with all the coming episodes. We really want to make this the kind of show that you want to watch. So let's use the comments section below and you can tell us what you'd like to see. You want longer shows with more in-depth episodes and more tech? Or do you want shorter shows that are easier to digest on the run? What topics would you like us to dive into? Let us know. You can also reach out to us direct at goodness at indhemp.com. We've got a lot of great topics to cover. We've got a lot of great friends to introduce you to. And we hope you'll join along with us on the Goodness of Hemp Industrial Hemp Show.